In this segment, we're going to take a look at the stretchiness setting in the object details. And so to get started, I think I'll just go ahead and create a simple parallel rectangular weave fill shape. And I'll take a closer look at that shape. Now, I think maybe even if I change the stitch direction of the background a little bit, it'll be helpful to see what I'm talking about. Okay, so first of all, I'm going to open up the object details of this object. And I'll just go ahead and double click on the object to open up the object details. Now in the object details, you'll find that there's a tab for stretchiness. And this is called the stretchiness allowance. And it's currently set at 0.6 of a millimeter. Now, I'm going to show you what that looks like. And then we'll adjust this and you can see what changes. So first of all, um, I'm going to go ahead and just hide the stitches of this object. And so what's left when I hide the actual stitches is the wireframe of the shape that I made, which was a rectangle. And I'm just going to zoom in really closely onto that wireframe. So here's the end of the stitches and here's the side of the stitches. And what I'm going to do now is just I'll turn back on the stitches. And you'll notice that here's my wireframe. You can see that underneath the stitches. And yet the stitches go beyond the shape of the wireframe. They extend beyond it. And that's what's known as stretchiness allowance. And if I was to take my measuring tape right now and measure from the edge of the shape to beyond, you'll see that it's 0.6 of a millimeter is how much the software is using for stretchiness allowance. Now, this is a compensation for the fact that um, the tension of your thread coming through your machine and the give or stretch of your fabric, that things tend to get a little bit skinnier. And so you'll notice that stretchiness allowance will appear on the sides of an embroidery object where the thread, where all the needle penetrations are sewing um, along the edge of the shape. So in this case, it's along this edge here, and it's along this edge here. And wh wherever the needle penetrations are, they're, they're stretched beyond the shape. So even along this edge here, you can see a little bit of that stretchiness allowance. Now, if we go in and select the object and change the stretchiness allowance, why don't we turn it off? You'll see the shape, all of the stitches are forced to fit exactly within the shape. So this is a great thing because if you're finding that um, you've created an embroidery design and you're sewing it on something that's a little bit stretchy, then you can just simply come in, select the objects of your embroidery design, turn on your stretchiness allowance. It's probably already turned on, but you may want to increase it. You can change the number to be any number you want. So if you just type in here a full one millimeter stretchiness allowance, then you'll get an entire millimeter beyond your shape. So now that might seem like a lot, but there could be cases where you may want to use that much. So anyway, that's the topic. It's called stretchiness allowance, and it's found in your object details, and it's a setting that you choose. And whatever you choose, that's the amount that the software will extend your stitches beyond the edge of your shape. And it'll be on anywhere where the needle penetrations are. In other words, if my shape was exactly set at 90 degrees, then I wouldn't have any stretchiness allowance on this edge because that's where the thread is now parallel. There's no needle penetrations there. There's only needle penetrations along this edge and this edge. So that's what the software does. It extends your stitches beyond your shape for compensation for stretchiness.